Good morning and welcome to the Mike Show for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2020. It is 28 degrees at 10.01 a.m. and I am your host, Bach Kamal. And guess what, babes? Spring is on the way. Tomorrow there will be seven seconds more daylight than there is today. Today we will have eight minutes and 45 seconds of daylight. Tomorrow, we're going to have seven seconds more than that. So, hey, get ready to get out those shorts and flip-flops. Start doing some gardening. Clean your lawnmower. It's on the way. Right now, we have this. We got three city chickens on the service wire and one on the main line. Maxie's still outside. Sammy just came in. Alice came in a few minutes ago. Mikey's upstairs. Uh, he stayed with me all through the night. I did not sleep well. I had a nightmare like you wouldn't believe. Two of them, actually. The first one, I had a puppy. And this person I knew growing up kept trying to hurt the thing and wanted to kill it. And it was just... It just, I kept trying to escape and get away from him, and I couldn't do it. And I don't know what happened, whether I woke up and I ended up having another nightmare where I was around this fire, and somebody did something, and my hair just started melting, and I was pulling it off in handfuls, and it just wouldn't stop. It was like burning, and I was pulling it off before it started burning my scalp, and it was all melty. It was really weird. And that wasn't a good experience either. But all I can figure is, you know, it's just payback because I have such a skeevy heart. Anyway, the coffee's brewing. Not a clue about what we're going to do today. I didn't sleep real well, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. I rarely do. <laughs> Kind of breezy out there, as you can see from that tree blowing in the wind. Uh, we made 8 o'clock coffee today. Finishing up some of that. Have been drinking Ethiopian for a long time. Where's my Sam? Sam, are you going to come sit with me? Look at, there's Nelsie. There's Nelsie. Look at that princess. Hello, lady. Hello, sweetheart. How are you? Christmas trees going in the background. You know what I... Oh, look at... There's Sammy. There's Sammy. Sammy the Bull Gravano. Sammy the Bull Gravano is right there. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, he's going to come and cuddle with me. Come on, Sammy. Come on, buddy. I love you. I love you, mister. I love you. I'm just keep playing with you. Mm. I hope you slept well and had pleasant dreams. Apparently you did because you slept, you were right on Autumn's Betty by right where I left you last night when I went to bed. Oh boy. So anyway, it's time to push the plunger down on that coffee and get some of that in our veins. No idea what we're going to do today, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. The only people I know that have less of a life than I do are anybody that might be watching this show. And I'm praying for you all. And Christmas is coming. It's, what, three days away now? You know what I want for Christmas? I want for it to be over. That's what I want for Christmas. We're back again. It's just Sammy and I. Elsa's over there. They were doing a little bit of hooking and jabbing a minute ago. Look at my princess. Look at that beautiful lady. I love you, Alice. Hope you slept on had pleasant dreams, honey. City chickens are moving down to the service wire. Hoping Mr. Cardinal's going to come again and visit us today. And Mr. Squirrel. Mr. Black Squirrel visited us yesterday. And after we uploaded the Mike show yesterday, we went into the kitchen and Mr. Black Squirrel was on the tree outside the kitchen window looking at us. 
Oh yeah. There's another city chicken just landed up on the power line. Well, another reason why we weren't sleeping very well is some kind of machinery started thrumming across the alley a couple houses down. I figured that out when I went to put food out for the wildlife. and It was just an annoying thing that I couldn't get out of my head. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Nothing really does. Welcome back. Look who's here to see us. Look who's here to see us. Come on, Mickey. You ready to come in, buddy? Come on. Come on, honey. Try not to knock the coffee pot over, okay? Here, let me get that out of your way. Try not to knock the coffee pot over. You'll be all right. There he goes. There goes Mackie. And there goes his brother and friend, Sam. And they're both my brothers and friends. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. So anyway, we were just trying to read some of this BS about the unemployment or underemployment claim we tried to file. And I don't know what the hell is going on here. I don't qualify. I didn't make enough money. <laughs> How do you do that, you know? They're, they're paying unemployment on you, but... You don't get it if you're not working, even though if you're working part-time, I don't get this. Then why the hell should they be pulling it out, or why should employers be paying it? Government. I don't know. I'm not going to think about it. Life's too short, and I ain't got enough of mine left to ponder such things, but... Who am I kidding? I will. I'll let the mind run loose on that one for a long time and then just get good and pissed off. Because that's what I'm good at. We're back again. Aren't you lucky? Maxie decided to lay down there and do a little grooming and Sammy's going to help him. City chicken's still on the wire. Ah, uh, big tragedy this morning. We're not going to be able to have our gruel because we don't have any raisins to put in it. I always put some raisins in my cold, thin, watery gruel, and, you know, I'm such a creature of habit, I can't make it any other way, you know? You got a good case of obsessive-compulsive behavior and lifestyle, hey, nothing can change, you can't do it any different way. So anyway, look at Grandfather Sun popped out. He's hiding behind those binkies out here at camp. Now he's going back behind some clouds. Anyway... One of my favorite uh, touchstone quotes is today, December 22nd. There isn't enough darkness in all the world to snuff out the light of one little candle. I've always liked that. I have always liked that because it's true. It is true. And in fact, if all there is is one little tiny candle and everything else is darkness, you're going to see that thing no matter what. And I just think that's awesome. Yes, I do. It, it is like uh, the things I used to tell the guys when I worked at the rehab. I said, life is a rose growing in a pile of manure. And if all you're looking for in life is shit, that's all you're going to see. Be somebody that sees the rose. And, you know, sometimes I follow my own advice. Sometimes I don't. We're back again, and Mackie's sitting with me. Sammy's looking for a way out. He just doesn't like it when I close that door all the way, and he doesn't have a way out. So, he's not stupid. You always need a back way out in this life. We got approximately 40 city chickens out there. I'm sure there's right around that, maybe a few more. And they haven't come to feed yet. Okay. I missed them raining down, but there they are. They're coming in to feed now. Your day and your life are now complete. So, I think that's all we have for this exciting episode of this thing called The Mike Show. 
And just because I can, I'm going to say piss off and have a wonderful day.